Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm gonna give you a short overview of the difference between sharing a Google document and publishing a Google document to the web. Someone asked me about this on Twitter, so I thought I'd make a quick little video on it. So as you know, by default, all of your Google documents are private only to you. Now you can change that, of course, by hitting the share button and you can invite people, maybe I'll invite my friend Mason to invite and be an editor on this document. So I can send that out. And of course, with those sharing settings, I can also go in here and disable the option for an editor to change permissions and share. And I can send that out. Now I also have the option to share by saying anybody with the link has access to this document, but I also have the option to publish to the web. And when I publish to the web, the appearance of the document is slightly different than the appearance of the document when you hit the share button and say anybody with the link. So here's what it looks like. We'll go to file, publish to the web, and we can then get a link for that document you can also find an embed code for that document. Let's hit that link and see what it looks like when we give out that link. So here's how this document appears to someone who just has the link to it and doesn't have the link for anyone on the web can view. If we were to use the link for anyone on the web can view. We'll take a look at that link and we'll see the difference. This is the version where anybody with the link can view. This is the version that's published to the web. So that's the difference between sharing a Google document and publishing it to the web. As always, more tips and tricks like this please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.